This is Brian Castles for Lattice Semiconductor. We're going to show an example of how to import an existing ISP Lever project into Diamond. So we have the uh, Diamond software launched already. Uh, by default, it comes up with the start page, and there's an item uh, right on the start page to say Import ISP Lever Project. Additionally, you can also go into the File menu and say uh, Open uh, import ISP lover project. So you can get to this from either way. So in this case we'll just click on the start page. It now asks us to find the existing ISP lover project. So in this situation I'll go to where my existing project is and select the existing project file, the .syn file, and say open. I'll then get a dialog and in this dialog, it'll ask me for the destination of where I want to put it. So in this case, I'll make a new folder and put it into this existing folder. And I'll give it the name. And then I'll also give a different name to the project itself. Just select OK. And then the uh, software will import and process the design. And now I get a, a, new, I, a new diamond project. So you see by default, I get the um, <clears throat> strategy list. So here are the four default strategies which come in. And then it uh, creates a new strategy one. And then I just get the list of my source files. I get the, uh, in this particular case, vShell source files. I have my uh, existing LPF constraint file, which is brought in. And in this particular design had an existing reveal hardware debugger um, file. And that was brought in also. Something that's important to keep in mind here is there are some restrictions. So things like um, NGOs that are directly in your project file that may have been uh, from IPs that you manually copied in to that existing ISP lover project file are not automatically copied, so you will need to manually copy those. Another thing is any options you set uh, for map, par, things like that are not automatically copied. You will need to open the strategy file and make uh, any changes that you want in there, any changes to um, the preferences, things like setting a macro search path you will need to manually update your preference uh, to incorporate, incorporate those. And then um, another item to be aware of in Diamond is LPC files. LPC files have been replaced in Diamond by IPX files. The IPX file is basically a meta file which points to files that are necessary for modules or for for um, IPs and the IPX file for example would point to an LPC file point to the original source code in the case of something like a PCS module would point to the autoconfig.txt file that's generated so it's a more robust solution than what you have in ISP lever so the the existing LPC is brought in but if you double click on that you will likely be uh, greeted by a dialog that says you need to take and regenerate this IP. So what you can do is uh, double click, open up the IP, and here's an example, it's just a PLL. I'll recalculate it, and then I will regenerate it. And then when I close this, you'll see that in the source list, the previous um, LPC file was replaced now by an IPX file. So the IPX file is the new file used in Diamond that replaces having the LPC file in your source list. So that's an example of something you need to look out for. So that's just a uh, simple example of how to import projects into uh, Diamond from ISP Lever.